All right, what is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of cutting, a little bit of painting, and more painting on Johnny's step notch and wheel tubs for his truck. So let's get right into it. All right, well, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm finally starting to do the work on the bed, do, working on redoing the notch. But we ran into a little problem. I kind of was thinking about this and scratching my head and I don't know if I'm actually going to end up using that piece that I originally made so this is what we have so this is what I was going to try to put in place of the old notch now originally my idea was I was going to weld it to the frame itself I kind of went back on that I don't think I wanted to do that and then I was thinking of maybe doing some welding some nuts onto the frame and then drilling holes into this so you can bolt this in and out and then i was just going to cut the old notch out and i kind of thought about that too and i wasn't liking the idea so then i was thinking of just cutting this one out and welding it to the tubs but for some reason i could have swore that this was long enough to reach to the tubs so but apparently it's not so i was thinking of then cutting the notch right here putting another piece of flat plate the sheet metal like this and then kind of this one would have been like stepped down but then that kind of would have looked weird so my last resort is instead we're just going to completely scrap this idea i'm going to keep this for now possibly save it for something else something later in the future or I could use her for something else, but that was a good attempt. However, now, since I do still have this extra piece, what I'm thinking of doing is taking the width of this and putting some of this mesh on top along the whole area and then cutting out a small window towards the back. I'm probably not gonna do anything towards the front because you should be able to see the majority of it from the back anyways so that's going to be the plan instead i'm thinking of painting the tubs and the notch cover and also red to match the truck which i do have some paint laying over here somewhere don't know what i did with it but i have some red paint around here somewhere so i'm thinking of uh, scuffing it down taping it off and painting the notch cover and the step notch red and then keeping this i was thinking doing this in black or i was thinking of leaving it like this but sanding it down kind of just to leave it like a stainless look and then clearing over it but we won't know for for now until we can get to it so that's what i'm going to be working on now now quick little uh idea that i had i wanted to have somebody come and uh graffiti my garage walls and put like my logo and my name up here either on this side or this side and do some kind of graffiti art i already had one too many shots and attempted to do it myself and that's the ugly mess i came up with it's i but i mean the top is kind of okay it's not that good i kind of messed up on the center and then the last part that actually came out decent uh not too happy with it but we'll eventually get somebody out here to do some wall art in the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and start marking out my uh, cutouts where I'm gonna end up cutting it out. And I'll put this whole thing on a, on a camera and see what, what we can get done today. Hey Shake, I'm go easy bro. Hop out the way. 
up and you know that I scheme They gotta get it cause you know that I win Fuck with your haters, say no need your pin Stack them on your way, they're touching the scene Now we're about when I'm gonna go feed And talk about killing you pussies, I win Just go and run up my checkup Cause you know when I'ma come and I'm next up Thinking we're bros, counting my dough Yoking my best for your blast and your dome How you think I'ma go speed? It ain't even from the beginning Coming at me cause you know that I win Can't even show you your bitches and pee all right, I got both of the pieces cut out for the notch. So now I'm pretty much gonna measure the cutouts and then copy it over to the mesh. I kind of already got the first line already kind of drawn out. Take the old piece that I cut out. This thing is pretty, pretty thick stuff. I think it's like 18 gauge. Put this on top and pretty much trace this out. So all I'm really trying to do is leave about like an three quarters or half an inch all the way around. That way I have a place to uh, either do bolts or tack it, whatever I said to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my lines on this side in the corners. Go ahead and cut this out, go cut the other one out. paint run to the hardware store finally got some more paint i didn't find the exact one that i wanted like this one which is what i used on the frame so this will have to do for now i don't need that much red but i'm gonna end up going with the crystal clear enamel on the center mesh that way you can see through it so i got two of those and then i got the same uh, paint for the 
Man, I don't know if it's not if it's gonna work because it's water based. I wonder if it's gonna wash off. So hopefully it doesn't wash off, but this is what I'm gonna be using on the tubs. We're gonna be doing the tubs and the notch in red. So maybe I should practice or do a little sample piece. Well, it's a nice chilly Sunday morning. So last night, I didn't even realize this last night, but okay. So the red on the left was the red from the, let's see if I have a can around here somewhere. We'll have one right here. So the can, the one on the left was this marking paint. So as you can see, this actually dried really dull. So kind of experimented on this before actually painting on the truck. This was with that marking paint and then the one on the right was with this duple color enamel, which is still kind of dull, but it's a lot better than this. I might go over it with a clear. I'm still not sure, but I'm gonna make sure to use duple color and not try to use the rust over the uh, duple color. So this, it was so cold last night that after I had sprayed this, it kind of looked dry. So I went ahead and did this half with the engine, uh, the duple color red. And that's why I got this kind of stuff peeling right here and I have a fingerprint right there. So that was just because it didn't, I didn't let the first coat fully dry from the rust -Oleum. So it looks like I'm gonna end up going with the duple color instead over the notch. But with it being as cold as it is, I'm surprised this even dried. This is gonna look a little difficult right now in the daytime, but I went ahead and sprayed this the uh, with the clear and see how it was kind of turning like white had had white spots in it so being that the next step on this is to paint the bed i actually had to make a store run get this right here since winter is upon us i'm gonna have to end up using this steel the old pro a propane heater so I gotta go get my propane torch from the backyard. I have one in here somewhere too. So I'm gonna use this to heat up the garage and heat up the, the bed in the middle. I might hit this with another coat of clear. I don't know how exactly it looks yet. I might take it off here in a second. But I went and got some more of the Rust-Oleum black paint because that's what I was missing. And along with that, I had some, I needed to get some tape. So I got some more tape as well. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go inside real quick, give my kids some lunch, and I'm gonna go ahead and set up my propane deal and get the garage all warmed up. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and set up and get my uh, tarps, the welding curtains hung up, and then I'm gonna kind of close the garage a little bit, kind of to contain the heat a little bit, and then we'll hook up this heater and see how this deal works. So let's see if we can get this stuff to work. All right, well, I think actually while I wait for that thing to heat up the garage and heat up the bed, I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking the sander to it and kind of getting ready and scuff everything down, getting re ready for paint. So I'm gonna work on this right now and getting this ready to sand down. But for now, it's just gonna be a little bit of sanding. When got me a brand new little overall sander, little Craftsman. So I'm gonna, make a little bit of noise and get to working on this bedside and getting it sanded down. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my little light over here real quick. So let's get started on this sanding. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I break in the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. 
caught switching, you were picking sides. Don't blink, caught slipping like a slipping slide. I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed. Money on the floor, can't get cold feet. Took an L, should have put it in all free. Well, we got the notch pretty much everything sanded down. We went over it with some wax and grease remover like three times already. And I kind of uh, vacuumed it a little bit and knocked off some of the dirt. Now, I do plan on drilling some holes back here because whoever did this notch before, they did drain, put two drain plugs on each side to drain holes. But if you can tell, well, I don't know if you could tell before in the video, but there was so much dirt caked up on this side that there was so much water that would sit here that it wouldn't drain through. So I'm thinking of going ahead and drilling some more holes at least in each one, at least in each one of these little like valleys, um, just to kind of keep the water out and keep the because if you got standing water in here, you're gonna start to get rust spots like that. So and that's already pretty much looking like it's starting to rust through. So we want to try to prevent more of that, which I mean it's probably too late now because. Rust is pretty hard to stop. It's gonna just continue to rust. So I'm gonna go go ahead and just drill out some more uh, drain holes on this side. The back of it is not gonna be too much of a big deal because it is open on this side. So he can, uh, once he drives, I mean, it, it'll all go back here. So if I don't do the holes back here, I'll probably end up doing them in the front, but because the truck is going to be sitting like this at an angle the water is going to have more of a tendency to pull up in the back so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do and drill up some holes in the back i don't know if i want to do them the same size as the ones that the previous guy did maybe a little bit smaller so i'm thinking of going with like a we'll go with a quarter inch so i'm going to go ahead and drill those holes and i'm still kind of waiting for the heater to heat up a little bit. I, it is working. I do feel a d bit of a difference that it does heat up the garage a little bit. But I mean, this side of the truck is already warm because obviously it's on this side, but the tubs and stuff, they're still pretty cold. So what I'll probably do is take the uh, heater, move it a little, uh, towards the back and kind of face it at the truck. So more of the heat goes inside of it. So I'll do that after I uh, drill these holes for the floor so I'll be right back I've had my heater on this for quite some time the back of it's pretty warm this is still actually pretty cold I'm kind of debating on whether I should go ahead and paint it or wait off until another day and uh Wait till it's warmer, but it's supposed to be cold all this week. That's the downside. And I mean, the only other thing I can think of is maybe like pulling it up and getting a little bit closer to the truck. So I'm going to try to see if I can get my tape to lay down with it being, <clears throat> um, with the bed being cold. Hopefully it even sticks to the bed liner. I did go over with the wax and grease remover, so hopefully it does stick. So I'll go ahead and uh, cover it up and see if I can get the tape to stick and then we're gonna try to, where am I going? Yeah. Try to uh, see if the paint will stick. What I'll do is like I'll move around the heater so it um, gets closer to that step notch. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my camera and we'll see if we can get this taped up. Still have the old Mamalona on the tablet for the memories. So let me get the taping this up real quick. Well, the tape actually ended up sticking pretty good. And I think I got everything 
taped up how I want. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is hit the inside of the notch with some black where that rust was because since you will be able to see inside of the notch, I didn't wanna be able to see uh, the rust. the second coat and we're having two little mishaps one is we're already out of one of the pink cans this is probably like less than halfway through and I'm still gonna need some more coverage because there is some spots you can st it's still like light it doesn't pick it up as well on camera but in person you can see the line still from the spray paint and then two I did have a little accident back here. I laid it down a little bit too too um, wet and we did get some runs in it. So being that I'm having my heater on here to keep this uh, a little warm, to get it to dry a little bit, um, I don't, don't wanna leave this by itself. And so I sent my brother to see if he can make a run for, to go get a run for me of material. So he's gonna give me some more uh, spray paint and some sandpaper. I'm gonna to try to see if I can sand that little run out. So, I mean, probably won't be as a little too noticeable because it's back here in the back, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix it and make it right since I'm already here anyway. So, um, waiting for this coat to dry now. Uh, probably gonna give this a little bit longer to dry. That way I can uh, sand down that run. We're gonna do probably three, or probably at least three more coats of red. And then after that fully dries, I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow or later on tonight, but I am taking my time on this because I don't want to um, rush it, but I am going to put some sort of clear on it because I don't think it's going to dry uh, shiny. It might dry a little dull. At least it's kind of dried a little dull on this piece that I did over here. So it is kind of dull a little bit. So. Yeah, we are, we are going to go ahead and just spray some clear on it later on tonight, but luckily I do have another brand new tank of propane, so we won't run out of heat, but having to leave the garage open because we don't want to suffocate ourselves, got to get enough ventilation, but it is coming along. It's coming, coming along really nice. All right, well, I sent my brother to get me my materials real quick. We got the run sanded down. And it's ready to apply the next coat. We're probably going to do a few more coats. So let's go ahead and get started on that. spray paint to paint these tubs but when you're on a budget and you're working in your garage you don't have an air compressor you don't have paint guns you got to work with what you have and for being spray paint it's coming out fucking hella wet now over there i did get a little bit of a dry spot but we still have one more coat possibly two to go i did get the good coverage on the back so we did get the uh run out of it it's looking pretty good 
Now it should be, yeah, it's, still, it's pretty much ready for the next coat now. So I'm probably gonna do one more coat, if not, maybe two. So it's looking pretty good. And after this, I'm done for the day. We're gonna wrap this up and then we'll hit it again. See how it dries out tomorrow, but I think it's gonna turn out really glossy being that it's several coats instead of the one that I had on that um, test piece. So we might not even need clear on this. So I'm gonna do the final coat possibly. Set this up, propane's still going hot. I'm gonna do another coat and see how this turns out. All right, well, I think we're finally fully cured. And this thing actually came out really good, nice and glossy. I was thinking, however, this side might have come out a little dull. It's kind of hard to tell through the lighting, but I think, I think it's just on the inside right here, but I think it should be fine. It is just a little bit dull, but I mean, it's hard to tell us, but Regardless, it came out fr freaking badass for being spray paint. So we got this pretty much knocked out, all finished up. I was thinking of taking the tape off, but, uh, but I don't know. We'll leave it on for now. I'm gonna let this fully cure overnight. Well, actually, you know what? I should probably go ahead and peel it off now. Cause if there is paint like, st stuck together, I don't want it to peel off. So let's do that real quick before we close up for tonight. And then I gotta get this video uploaded for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off all this tape. All right, so there we have it. Now the paint on these edges, are gonna be a little just like angled. So now all that's left is whenever he does go and get his uh, bed liner redone, once it's all nice and black, it should come out pretty good. Now I did see the only area I did get oversprayed was right in here, but I mean, that's not bad for as much painting as we did. I did as best as I could. That was the only spot and then maybe one spot right there but it's looking really really good now tomorrow after i get home from work i'm gonna paint the bolts that's gonna hold that mesh in i'm gonna paint those black kind of to offset the red a little bit and then we'll get to bolting in those those pieces of mesh and then i'll bring my dimpler and we'll get to fixing this bed he does have the little little thingy that we're doing on the tailgate so that is gonna be coming also. That was That's another thing we gotta do on the bed. And then all we'll have left to do is the tubs on the front. And yeah, we'll get this all wrapped up. So I'm gonna call it a night here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, this little painting project on the rear bed. He doesn't know that I did this. It was kind of a surprise because I did tell him that we weren't gonna be able to use that one notch cover that I originally made. So he was a little bummed out. So I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna appreciate this a whole lot of uh, painting this up for him. So take it easy guys. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you please comment, like, and subscribe. We're almost to 7,000 subscribers. I would like to reach 7,000 by the end of the year. So if we can do that, help you guys, help me out, share the videos, make sure you like I said, leave a comment, like. I'm going to be trying to do a little giveaway here in a while. So stay tuned for that. 
I'll announce it either here on YouTube or on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me there or also on my Facebook. I'm also on Facebook. So again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.